Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Royal representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever Yard Slam Wait there Somebody says something about Jamaican pathway in a style and fashion. Yes, to us, me a search the other day online and buck up on a new, authentic Jamaican clothing brand. Walk one of the latest and newest one in a t shirt, booty, slippers, and woman's bag. And a whole heap of other things I may not even mention. Search online for more information. Yard slang! Hit them with a bang! You know, see, him get trapped. It never work. And many more guys coming on. Many more guys come to discredit I and I, you know. But I and I have to stand strong because it's what I and I cannot prove physically. The next part of it is feet. And it's feet when all I and I because a man say, yes, the fool saying is that Rasta, you got dead. And two of them say, no, all right, if Slash say I live in which part him there. I always say, boy, all right, them there are you two up here, but we don't know that. This is the priest who have no reason to lie, you know, because he is not, he is not, he, I mean, he does not have nothing to do with Rasta. Yeah, he doesn't have nothing to do with Rasta, but I, uh, so I, uh, I said to the bridge, you know, say, well, obviously his mother is stood in the tomb because them say, he man at the palace. But them take up this thing you know, and say, them have a funeral for him, and them give him a decent burial. In the tomb. But no, no, in the tomb still. Mm-hmm. Now the brethren, the, 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 the people them now, which now, this is a people thing now, this are no, this are no big boy, and this are no big. The people them say, which is just here for the tape a while ago. Right? The people them say, that his majesty went to this place named, where was the place named? De Brazil. De Brazil. De Brazil. But me know say me and time go back at Ethiopia. Me have to go find at the place there, De Brazil. Cause me want to find out why his majesty went to that place. Me have to find out that. Why his majesty after the scheming and the dealings with these brother there who ten of them dead because they make his majesty escape. Why his majesty was seen in a Volkswagen? Because the people, them is quick to tell you that, you know, say his majesty, have a little folks around him drive up and down the place, you know. His majesty don't drive up and down with securities, you know. His majesty is in all the market, giving away money to the people, them, and, you know, looking for the poor and the, 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 the lame and the this and the that, and giving them, you know, a, a kind word of, you know, Encourage. encouragement and all them things there. This is the man who everybody I tell I and I say, this man yeah, is this and this man yeah, is that, you know. The people them, you know, they say, no, no, I, we not read no book, no, you know, Rasta. And the people them, I tell I and I these things, you know. The people them, I show I and I say, His Majesty is a man where he just get up, you know, and he just drive down the road, you know, and he walks over, you know, and just go out of the market, you know, like a hardener man, you know, and just around the people them, and, you know, see. And this bridge, you don't know where, you just hear, you know, where I say, Debra Zay, we mentioned Debra Zay, you know, and Tony asked him, why is majesty? What is so special about Debra Zay? And I'm sure, I'm sure I and I say, well, all right, no, you know, it's majesty to go there because it's a good place. All right, no, so we'll, we'll continue. Play, play, play the tape now. Debra Zay? You have to believe what the, the government says, right? Yeah. We read it. He says, he says, he says we killed him and we put it yeah. under the sun and the, uh, the ground. You have to believe that. Even yeah, but but this is an important question. Uh-huh. Even if what I didn't really should give any merit to what they, they said they did to him, why would they bury him under the office? Under... Uh, 
No, I don't know the people them hear it properly, but they can explain what going on there so now. Yasus, the man say that the dog say them bury him and that thing. And Yasus asks the man, so why the mother want to bury him under a place like that? And the man look at Yasus and say, because them afraid say I'm going to raise from the dead. Mm. Now this is some sensible, listen to me now, you know, brother, that's it strange. Because we not talk to a Rasta now, you know, we are talk about something where we are talk to the people them now. These are not, and a Rasta we are talk to in you know, Ethiopia, and are some people where don't kill one hoot. Yeah. But whatsoever, they just attack naturally where them believe and where them see and where them understand this thing and how this thing I go. Alright, the man look on your source and the man say, because them feel say I'm going to raise from the dead. And Yasos look at him and say, you mean say, them really believe say I'm going to raise from the dead? And the man say, yes, them feared. Alright now, so we we'll go on over the team, play the team. You say that you're, you're not sure that he's dead? Yes, not sure. Why I'm not sure? I'm not looking for any dead time. Oh, but the dog says that they kill him. He's, he's there is killing. The dog? Yeah, he said. They said that? Yeah, we said. He's not dead here. But in, in Akzum he's not dead? Yeah, he's not dead. In Akzum? Yes. But in Addis Ababa they think he's dead? I don't know for Addis. You don't know about that? Yes. You, you're born in Addis? You're born in Akzum? In, in Addis. You're Akzumite? In Addis. you born in Addis? Yeah, from Addis we came for working here. Oh, oh. You see, we are trying to find out why is it that a lot of people in Ethiopia, they don't believe what Dirk said. But I realize that a lot of people believe that Eilis Lassi was a good man. Yes, he's a good man, Eilis Lassi. It's nice. nice. You, you familiar with the Rastafarians in Jamaica? Sure, yes. What, what do you think about what they are saying? For? What do you think about the, what the Rastafarians say about Eilis Lassi? Yes, the Rastafarians. The Rastafarians is King Eilis Lassi. The Rastafarians is King Eilis Lassi? Yes. Oh. All right, now, we're going to explain what's going on this now. This is the next man now, you know. This is not the same person, no, no. This is the next man, no. We ask the man, what do you think about Iris Lassie? And what the dog say? The man say, the dog say him dead. But the people them in a axum don't believe it. The people them in a axum don't believe it. Because the dog can say anything. No, my brother and my sister, this is not a Rasta business in a Rasta. This is something where the people them in a axum, the People them in Axum don't believe what the dog say. All right now. So I I ask him now, say, what him think? Which him confused up the, 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 the NIH still. Because I asked him now, what him think about the Rastafarian? He said Rastafari is Eilis Lassie. Meaning him say now, the two them know Rastafari as Eilis Lassie. Him not, him not really know nothing about Rasta. See, him not, him not really know about Rasta and thing, but anyway, this is a bus driver. This was a bus driver we did a talk to at the time, the son how. So, this is, my brethren, this is like, this, this is like, this is, this is not like two, four, six, eight, ten people, you know. This is many, 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 many people when I and I question them, question them now. Because, you know, so I and I have to ask them these questions because the people them in Jamaica have a different view about Rasta. When I and I say, we don't believe, say, Eilis Lassie dead, and them claim now, say, oh, we cannot believe that. What kind of stupid belief that? Well, the people, them, we are talking to the people, them now, you hear it now from what you call the ass's mouth. All right, so let's go and play the tape now. Play, 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 play. We're talking to an elder. We're we talking to an elder Ethiopian lady. And it's going to be interpreted through the, the one of the the the, the guide here, right? All right. 
Ask her what she think about Ayla Selassie. Sala Ayla Selassie, mo ni mas lata sala Ayla Selassie di zina mina. Mano na mas lata ko. Sala Ayla so Ayla Selassie talak sa mga sna ulo kung may amno na chow ba alam lang. Ni tawo ko na chow. Ni pala si Gala sa mantama tayo. Pala pala si Gala sa mantama tayo. Ayla Selassie tan kilis gara gabu agar ako na raga. But I'm not I'm guru na gus na chow sa chow turo na gus. ยังไม่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใ
when Eilis Selassie was around, something I had to sell it was five bar, and now it's 240 bar for the something, the same thing. You know? Yeah, the little old lady say, she not believe what the dog say, because the dog has been telling them lies for years. No. This is just like four people, I and I, we, 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 we catch on that part of the tape there, but, you know, this is not, this is not the many of the people them where I and I talk to about this thing because we wanted a clear thing to tell you for sure, you see? Because as we say, there's no one's going to eat you up here, but only if one never have the opportunity for company airwaves and do this, you know, see? Like, interview people about this thing because it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing because it's enough people ridicule Rasta because Rasta say, they don't believe say Eilis Lassie is dead. But you have millions, millions of people in Ethiopia that, that only don't believe that. But no in them heart of heart say, the dog scared of Eilis Lassie to the point where they would never lay an on him. No, we're going to read this one thing now. We want to heal up Valerie. And we know, say, even though Valerie is not in Jamaica, but she's in Ethiopia, Valerie, we love you more than anything else. <laughs> we are telling you, Valerie was the one where keep the ones them with food. And if you want, if you go to Ethiopia, and we are, we are do some promo for Valerie the Rasta. Valerie is a member of the 12 tribe of Israel. You know, see, she's living in Ethiopia now. Valerie Philpat, that is the Valerie we are talking about. If you go to Ethiopia in Addis Ababa and you want food, and if you want to remember Jamaican food, you go to Valerie. Yeah, Valerie is the person. Now tell you, Valerie, you're nice, Rasta. I mean, we have Valerie come from them days until now, but yeah, it is nice to know that we was in Ethiopia. Party in two. You yeah, talk about discotheque. Why we go to discotheque one night in the shade? I mean, couldn't, we couldn't believe say, Ethiopia I'm there. I mean, say, it, it could look like Manhattan. <laughs> you don't talk about Ethiopia, this and Africa, this and Africa, that, that, that. We go to this discotheque, man, and I tell you, man, I mean the man. I say, but wait, this come like Manhattan, Rasta. I tell you, man, the most Michael Jackson, the most. Ah, kill ya. <laughs> yeah, tell you. You know, it's a thing, it's a thing, you know, but one would believe that these things don't in Ethiopia because Ethiopia is so suffering. I mean the people them is, is starving and this and that. But the ladies, I must tell you, the ladies look quite okay to me. Anyway, this article has come out in the paper in Ethiopia and it titled The Dog Voted to Kill Ayla Selassie. Now, why the people them listen to this article here? Maybe it's the first all Andrea go hear it to shall listen to uh, Yasus. We're going to read it to, to the one them. Now, this is a man who was interviewed. This is a book. There's a book come out. There's a new book came out last year by the name of Paradise Last. And this book is um, purporting to give you the true, the true thing behind the death of Eilis Lassie you now, that is where they came you now, you know. this man you know, was part of the dog, this man you know, I give him story you now to, I think he's a Norwegian brother, to write this book you know, alright, here it's you know, the author of the book, in uh, Lundi, is a senior TV news anchorman on Norwegian national television, he covered Africa for 17 years and was based in Ethiopia, 1973 to 1975. This is a writer now, you know, in the Ethiopia, two years. Thus I witness the tragic famine, the subsequent revolution and deposition of the emperor. He has been twice arrested and imprisoned in Ethiopia and in 1988, deported from the country and declared a persona non grata by the Marxist regime. In the book Paradise Road, Ian R. Lundi presents a thrilling account of the story behind the story in covering major events in Africa. The book also throws new light 
on behind the scene events of Bloody Saturday, November the 23rd, 1974, when the dog killed the new head of state, General Aman Andom, and massacred 59 former prime ministers, ministers, generals, and the grandson of the deposed Emperor Haile Selassie. Paradise Road, with a foreword written by Nobel Peace Prize winner Archbishop Desmond Tutu, it published by Chair Shimstead Forlag Oz Oslo. That means it's in now where the book get published. The book Paradise Road is a story of the new revelations. This is a next new revelation again now about Eilis Lassen now. The book Paradise Road is a story on the new revelations about the circumstances of the death of the death of the circumstances of the death of Emperor Eilis Lassie. Briefly, the content of the book is as follows. So I'm going to give you a little rundown of the book. First Derg member to tell the truth about Eilis Selassie's death. The deposed Ethiopian Emperor Eilis Selassie was brutally murdered by the Derg on August the 26th and not the following day as the official announcement proclaimed. This is revealed in the book Paradise Road by the acknowledged Norwegian journalist and Africa expert Inyar Lundi. The book was released in Oslo Wednesday and gives the first official confirmation of the circumstances surrounding the mighty emperor's death. Ever since the official announcement in August 27, 1975, that deposed emperor, Ethiopian Emperor Selassie had died that morning in his sleep, the mystery has remained. Did he die a natural death or was there foul play? The Ethiopian news agency an announcement attributed his death to old age and effects of a recent prostate operation. But as the announcement made no mention of a post-mortem nor of any funeral, many observers kept the option open that legendary Haile Selassie has been killed by the Derg, the Marxist military junta that overthrew him on September 12, 1974 and kept him in house arrest since then. During the past 20 years, rumors have been numerous, and since the Marxist regime of Mengistu Haile Miriam was forced out of office on May 1991, people of various distance to the actual event have offered their versions of how the emperor died. Derg member, speak, Derg member speaks out. Now, for the first time, a member of the junta who was present and took part in the deliberation surrounding the emperor's death um, speaks out. His account of what happened in the Derg during those vital days throws an entirely new light on the last days in the life of Emperor Eilis Selassie. Once king of kings, the conquering line of Judah, elect of God, the last monarch of a 3,000 year old emperor, empire. In the book Paradise Road, released today, the author quotes former member of the Derg, Major Nigash Tesfatsion, who confirms the suspicions that Eilis Selassie did not die a natural death, but was brutally murdered. His account also implies that the emperor was killed the evening before the official date. Next heading, semi-god. However, for the first time, the public outside the closed doors of the Derg are also told the reasons why an 83-year-old frail, powerless and jailed monarch was not allowed to live. Major Nigash Tesfatsion conveys to the author, Iana Lunde, that there was an enormous pressure on the military junta from all over the world, even from the Secretary General of the United Nations, to release the old emperor or at least spare his life. One group was particularly active, the Rastafari sect, originally from Jamaica. The sect 
whose name is identical identical with Emperor Aeselas's name before he was crowned emperor. Rastafari sees Aeselas as their god. Also, a large portion of the Ethiopian population regard the emperor as a semi-god. Major Mengistu Aile Miriam, the Dirk strongman, who later became dictator in Ethiopia, told the members of the Derg that the member of the Rastafari no Mengistu who later became dictator in Ethiopia told the members of the Derg that one member of the Rastafari as a wealthy Jamaican born businessman who had previously served as instructor with the Ethiopian Air Force had offered seven million pounds sterling for the emperor. Now this is the first time I ever hear this, you know, that a Rasta did actually offer seven million pounds for the emperor. This is what Mengis to us now. The next topic is poison in our pockets. One day during lunch hour, an unidentified jet penetrates Ethiopian airspace and overflies the main Air Force base in Debrazet, just south of Addis Ababa. This is where the woman, this is where the man, the Padetiapa, say, is this or Iris Lassie going on? All right, them say, I, 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 unidentified, this is Mengis to attack me, you know. Mengis to say, a unidentified, a Rasta man offer him seven million pounds for his majesty. Them say one day during lunch hour, an unidentified jet, this is the next story now, you know, mm -hmm. an unidentified jet penetrates Ethiopian airspace and overflies the main Air Force base in Debraze, just south of Addis Ababa. As everyone is out for lunch, no one strikes at the aircraft. However, in the derg, the incident created fear and feeling of vulnerability. And Mengistu Aile Miriam called an urgent meeting of the Derg where he claimed that the aircraft had been sent by the wealthy Rastafarian to do reconnaissance to prepare for a commando raid to free the emperor. No, we never hear this yet, you know. This no just this is another story no we ever hear no about this thing you know that a Rasta man Mingis to I say a Rasta man fly one plane and him thing said the plane was there to free his majesty. Quote no. This is uh, this is Mengis to attack now. We have a poison in our pockets, shouted Mengis to Ailey Miriam at the Derg headquarters in the old Imperial Palace in Addis Ababa. If we don't get rid of it, that poison will kill us all. That poison is the deposed Emperor Eilis Lassie. Our next topic now, show of hands. Major Nigash says in the book that the Derg members were desperate and full of fear. Mengistu Aile Miriam then made a formal proposal that the deposed, that the deposed emperor be killed. Except for a few abstentions, everybody raised their hands in favor of murdering Eilis Lassie. Then followed a long discussion on how to kill him, and particularly about various ways of burying him. The Derg members were quite afraid that even as a dead man, Eilis Lassie posed a threat to them. Many Derg members, therefore, proposed that dynamite was to be hidden around his grave. Mengistu Aile Miriam cut the debate short. That means I you know them so afraid you know that them said why well, right now when we kill him we could put dynamite around it. <laughs> yeah that's my yeah, that's my now him can't raise you know see anyway alright now so the next topic now is buried under Mengistu Aile Miriam's office desk. The next, all right, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, all right, yeah, the many Derg members therefore proposed that dynamite was to be hidden around his grave. Mengistu Ailiguriam cut the debate short. 
You have voted that he should be killed. Leave it to us to find the ways and means to carry out that decision. That is Mengis too. The next topic now is buried under Mengis to Eileen Miram's office desk. The next morning, Major Nigash was told by his best friend at the Derg, Major Gurme Abte Gabriel, who was a near friend and a classmate of Mengistu Ali Miriam from officer's school, that the emperor has been killed. Now listen to this now, you know. The man who had given the story never seen no killing him. He was told, listen to this you now, which is that the people them panicked, everybody, everybody in Ethiopia were told was told by the dog that Eilis Lassie was killed, you know. Everybody, you know, Rasta. But then I asked the people, them, you know, so you think, say, Eilis Lassie, what do you think about Eilis Lassie? He said, the dog say. Everybody where I and I say, the dog say. So I and I say, what well, you say? Most of them say, them don't believe the dog because the dog has been known to be telling lies for years. As you can, as you heard on the tape there. Mm -hmm. See? All right, now. So this man, you know, who was part of the dog, you know, listen to this, you know, this man was part of the dog, you know, who had given the statement, you know, you know, say, the next morning, Major Nigash, who was told by his best friend at the dog, Major Girme Abte Gabriel, who was a near friend, listen to this, you know, is a man, tell a next man that a next man, you know, mm -hmm. was was a near friend and a classmate of Mengistu Aile Miram from officer school that the emperor had been killed the night before. He had been anesthetized by a pillow dipped in Ida, by in Eta, and then been strangulated by ants for the next part there, around his neck. He had been buried immediately. He had been buried immediately in order that no one should know where he was buried. He had been buried immediately in order that no one should know where he was buried. Two graves have been dug quite apart from each other and coffins containing cement had been buried. Listen to this you now. Two graves had been dug quite apart from each other and coffins containing cement had been buried the coffin containing eilis lassie's corpse had been buried in a chamber of cement underneath the spot where mengistu eilis miriam was going to have his office desk that office building was under construction at the time in his speeches in the years to come dictator mengistu eilis Miriam's favorite phrase was the Ethiopian revolution is built on the remains of the old imperial regime. For once the Marxist dictator was telling the truth. In 1993, two years after the new regime came to power in Ethiopia, Eilis Lassie's grave was found exactly where Major Girma had said on the morning of August 27, 1974, under the desk of Mengistu Aile Miriam, now in exile in Zimbabwe. Major Nigash Tesfasion, which is the man who gave the statement, who is an Eritrean, which is very important, was a member of the Derg from its inception in 1974 until he defected while heading a delegation to East Berlin in 1976. He joined the Eritrean Liberation Movement, EPLF, and worked in the Eritrean Ministry of Defense. Major Girma Abte Gabriel later became Administrator General of Sida, Sida, Sidamo Province in southern Ethiopia. He was arrested along with other members of the Derg in 1991 but died in prison one year later. A press release, October 19, 1995, from Inner Lunde, Oslo, Norway. This is an article that was photocopied copied from an Ethiopian newspaper in Ethiopia. And this article was given to me by Valerie. Valerie was the one who saw the newspaper. We said, we have to really, we have to photocopy this thing here and read it to the people. Yeah. Because it's very important that we read this. Mm -hmm. That who will hear, hear, and who will drop out, drop out. Because listen to me now. When we look on this article, it's the same, it's the same thing like every other thing when we hear about Eilis Lassie. Mystery, mystery, mystery surround the whole thing. 
We talk to the people them in Ethiopia. All right now, this person now tell me say, the reason why, you see, the people them in Ethiopia are so religious, right, that the person of his majesty is seen as divine, you know. Mm -hmm. but you don't go touch the emperor, you know. You don't just go touch the emperor, so, you know. And if people have feel said them touch him, just like when them touch Christ's garment, them feel them are going to get healed and all them something there. That's so them think about the emperor, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, these guys, I can't tell I and I talk to people and thing. These guys, I can't tell the people, them would never touch the person of his majesty. Them too afraid, them too scared to even go. Go, go, go even say them go kill his majesty. Because you see, Miriam, his eyeless lassie bring him up, you know. Mm -hmm. You see, Mingis too, you know, his eyeless lassie bring him up. As a youth, bring him up, you know. So even when them sit down around the sun now, where the article I said, them sit down around the table now and I say, why, even when I'm dead, them are planning how to kill him now because them are, why them don't just kill him? Because them afraid, say, even when I'm dead, it's going to be a poison to them. So them all a plan now, say, make a dynamite up the place and blow it up, and men just to say, watch a man, we just love it, just love it. Who to tell me the men just to the pala levels and all over the world, no, you understand? We can't, it's him alone. Yeah. Can you hear him say, you hear him to say, you have voted that he should be killed. Leave it to us to find the ways and means to carry out that decision. The next day, the man who gave the story say, is in friend who was a friend in the army of Mengistu, say, his majesty get killed. Them, them, them put. You can remember say, you know, they were supposed to be dead from a firing squad, you know, the first news, you know. Then now we hear say, it's poison, them poison, them, 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 them stifling. Now we hear say, it's poison and stifling. Go on. And them go bury him now. When we hear now say, the bury now is too coffin with cement. with cement. You know, see, dead there. And then now we hear the, 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 one of the coffin containers had been buried in a chamber of cement underneath the spot where Mengis too. Yes. And we all know what happened the other day when them said they were going to have a funeral for Alice Lashley. This is the next part of the story that now. 1992, them come and them dig up this thing and say, they have a funeral. No funeral was there. No, I want to tell the people them this now. There is a plan to have a funeral for Eilis Lassie in Ethiopia right now. How much funerals? <laughs> she had how much funerals? <laughs> she had this squad, so no. He? But you see? One of the part, one of the things them where I never did even realize now, you know, is this part of the article I never even read. The same place where the man said Eilis Lassie was seen. Which is the first I hear about this Rasta man now, you know. Who used to serve in Eilis Lassie. Because the article say, this Rasta, a wealthy Jamaican born businessman who had previously served as instructor with the Ethiopian Air Force, had offered seven million pounds sterling for the Emperor. Now the, imp the interesting part of the article there is where it say that the day when I hear this art, this thing I fly, Mengis too really believes there was a dread. Mm -hmm. There was a dread I fly over it and them get scared, but them say the the the, the, the it overfly the main air force base in Debra Z. And if you listen to the tape, it's uh, Debra Z. It's Debra Z. them say. Eilis Lassi was the last time them say Eilis Lassi had in in Volkswagen and was Debra Z. And not only that, no, you know. Not only that, no, you know. It's not one somebody tell her and I that, you know. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not seven, it's not ten people tell her and I these things, you know, Rasta. These things, these things where I and I hear from the people. Not no government man, no, we're free. Because when I and I ask the government man, them say they don't want to get involved in politics. And I, I, I say, but wait, it's either the man dead or I'm down dead. Why are you talking about politics? What, what politics have to do with saying him dead or I'm down dead? If the dog say I'm dead, then I'm dead. I'm dead. But the politician, them know, which is a democratic thing, you know, them just have election now. Where the politics come in, you know, they don't that commit themselves. The, the politician, them know, don't want to commit themselves that the dog really kill Eilis Lassie. Because they're planning to have this and this and this and that now and 
when you go in a Ethiopia now, you know, you see all of the book them about Eilis last where they last, where they hidden, where the body said they never they bought, you see them from the street now. All of the book them. The utterances of his majesty when we have for years now. We have so much of them I say low that never man from the road right now in a Ethiopia, this Ababa, collect them. <laughs> yeah man. It, we, we left money in a Ethiopia and tell the bridge and say, watch now. You see this yeah. I will make friends with two brothers now, we have a store down there in the rest of the way. Any book where I want, you see the next day, we will go down there, I have the book there, you know. Mm. This is a book about Eilis last the way, we never even see them book there yet. There's a surface up on the road, and you can't see them holding you know, out, because they're wet up and them dry and things, you know. Yo, man, I have a little man down there now, I tell him, man, I left him down there, I say, watch out now, just go and collect these books. Because we're up now in all them medallion where you say you have your son now. See the medallion they know and them things about with the eyes like to pitch up on it. They are resurface now. In the streets now. You know see it? And when I walk on the street, every time I walk it's pure crowd. Hundreds of people just gather around. You just turn up so you know. And people just start following you. I hear them say, Rasta for right, Rasta for right. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. They love Rasta. You know see it? It's just now, I and I, if you go there now, if you go, wake up the thinking of the people, them two hours, them empower, because them fight, if you know, say, I and I know so much thing about Ethiopia, you know. That I and I come from so far, and know so much thing about them own country, that they marvel at it, and that make them love I and I more, you know. Because when them hear the emotion that I and I is giving out towards, where them claim, say, it's for them emperor. If you know, say, people from so far, could have, who will them emperor in such high esteem master? Even them tears come off for them eye too. You know see? So when you look on the streets now and I eat you up there, if you look at you just stop now and show you a book, the utterances of his majesty, the selected speeches of his majesty, his majesty, you know, them just like give you a book and you know, sell you some dangerous people, them when you come on to bargain, you know. They not ramp it, you know. Them start you see, I got a thousand bird, them start away, you've done all a hundred, you pay for this up, you know, them, 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 ramp, you know, that, me have to cost some big, dirty, bad one to ask somebody, if they come there, they say, watch out, man, me tired for talk, you know, just tell me the right price for this up, man. Them, you know, them, them, about thing with them, I tell you, say, how much you want to pay for this up, man? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, you go for go buy all, you say, you, you want all a book for buying, you know, and tell you, say, 100 US. 100 years are like seven, 700 hard boy, you know. Mm-hmm. I just said, no, nah, man, we know what, uh, we know what I'm saying, all right. Give me, give me, give me, like, 50 U.S. He said, no, you reach from 100 to 50. That means he has general with him. He said, no, 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 we each of us, we don't general people. So we said, no, when I pay 50, 50 U.S., he said, how much do you want to pay? <laughs> so you don't send out the general team and come in there, you know, because uh, you know, I've got scheme and deal and scheme and deal, you know. <laughs> but you know, when you get them, you know, when you walk, you know, you have a man who all follow you all miles, you know, I walk with you and I try to sell you the thing, you know. And when you really realize that you really are going to left it now, in bow to where you tell him. But you feel that you get to you know. Because <laughs> when you all reach all 10 US, you know, you go to all and say, why well, you know, say 100 US, you need to send me the thing for, and 10 US make it in fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I have 2 US. <laughs> I have 2 US in the soul. You know what I mean? What is that thing? Is that thing in Africa, though? Is that general thing? It's bargain, bartering thing in Africa. So we go to Shashamani. We went to Shashamani, that land that was given to the Ethiopian World Federation during the war and Ethiopia by Iris Lassie. The Shashamani land is a, is a next land, is a next thing. Can we travel a couple of hours well to reach to this, this land where Eilis Lassie give the Ethiopian World Federation. But when we go there, we, we don't see nothing going on there more than... It looks like man just left Jamaica and just sit down for the land. Yeah, man just... Man, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Don't listen now. You see... As some of you know, say certain organization now nah, really do nothing. Because we hear about man go up on the land and thing and you know, one of the expects that this land is the land where his majesty gave. Man that develop it and thing, but not now go on Rasta. As a matter of fact, no land no dead for nobody again because the government take yeah, most of the land. Go yeah, the government take most of the land because the man say, but not now go on with this thing. Yeah. It's like most of five hundred hectares was given 
to, to the Ethiopian World Federation. And now they must have must about 11 to about 16 hectares left out of it. And we have now is that Ethiopians are living on the land. Where's my lesson? Don't tell them that they must make the Ethiopian live on the land. Ethiopian they must live on the land and sell the land to organizations like all 12 tribe and federation and all them people they will really expect say them people they would have developed certain things on the land and things. Not now go on down there, no school, no clinic, no nothing. As a matter of fact, it's even the dread them where they ever come from Jamaica look like them a progress more than the dread them rather than the rest of them from Jamaica. Cause what we go they go see. You know see it? Man come like say moi he, 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 he left Jamaica and I do say he, he like some man having doctor at so and then go drive taxi a, a, a New York. Cause we see man could have do better here so. But two say mwa and two more mwa send the IT up here and mwa this and mwa that and go there, got that do nothing. The only thing we miss upon the land there where a man I say my bill is a tabernacle when we say the Naya Bingy dread them a bill where them gather money all over the place and it's the only big building where, 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 where you can say is a contribution to not only one set of Rasta but a whole heap of Rasta then. Them start build that. But me not say no, nobody had nothing for the land. I mean man still there they hustle and a beg and a talk about, you know. 12 tribe this and 12 tribe that and 12 tribe this and nothing but significant. nothing significant, nothing tangible. Where a man, where, where, yeah, when a man say, I let's last give this land for the people them to come and develop it and build it up, we don't see no one in no community level doing nothing. I mean, we see individual are build things, right? We see 12 tribe people. Look like 12 tribes is the most people upon the land then. Because 12 tribes seem to send the most people. But no infrastructure no set up for them people there. To sustain them upon the land. You know see? It's like, you know, send a man. It's like a white people that does. Let me go and say, boy, you're free. But if not give you no reparation, to say, boy, right now, since you've let you go. Yeah, no sustain yourself. You just step on the land. Just so. Worst time when you're there in Jamaica, it's just that you tell you tell yourself now, say you're there in Ethiopia, so everything all right, and it's all right. So we are asked, we ask the question now. Time to rise. Time to open up your third eye. Full time you start to realize that all this time they've been telling us one bag of lies. Telling us a God in the sky that for you and I he die. Jenko Jesus or me or mile. These things they taught us from we were a child. Fast indoctrinating the innocent minds. Mind control is the signs of the time. Android, cyborg, AI, all these things combined. All these things combined might sound like a rhyme. But the evidence reality is right before your eyes. And I know this guy's. The age of Aquarius is the shifting of the time. Sun, moon, stars, the planet in the cosmos align. As the cosmos align, low vibration, frequency, decline. You strengthen your mind. Access to knowledge, information from the Almighty Creator Divine. Creator Divine. The time arise. I feel with time for rise. The time appointed. Because I am anointed. The time arise. I feel with time for rise. The time appointed. Because I am anointed. Time to subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.